Hey guys, this is take three. We'll see if it works this time. I don't know what's going on. First of all, I want to say thank you for coming by. If you're new, my name is Beth, and I am so glad to have you here. If you're not new, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you've not subscribed yet but have watched my videos, please consider doing so today. It's a little cat at the bottom of the screen. If you hover over that, it will take you to the subscribe button. All right, we're going to get started, but I want to cover an issue before I... <clears throat> Put the, the, the phone down to, to look at what we're doing. Some of y'all have said, well, a couple of y'all have said that you cannot hear me. I don't know how to solve that issue because I always watch the videos before I post them. And I don't have the issue on my end of the sound not being good. I do understand that my voice is not as boastful or, or loud as, as some, and I try to talk louder because I am aware of that. And I will try to talk a little bit louder in this one, but I can hear it on my end when I play it back. So I don't know how to solve a problem that I'm not having on my end. Um, I am so sorry. I, I don't know what else to do about it, um, but I will try to talk louder. And for some of y'all that have asked me to angle the phone down, I do angle the phone down when I deem that it's necessary for me to do so. Um, I do my videos the way that I want to do my videos, and I'm not trying to be hateful at all, okay? Um, I, I A lot of effort and a lot of thought process goes into doing these videos. And I'm happy with the way that I'm doing mine. Um, and I hope that y'all will still continue to watch them. Uh, I know that I am trying to improve. I know I have a lot of improvements to make. But so many of y'all have said that you want to see me talking to you. Some of you don't like it. You know, there's no, should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? Would I love never to show my face on the video? Oh, yes, I would. I would love to do videos where you don't see me at all. But there's more people that like the fact that I talk. It's more personal. It, it's, it's like, and, and I'm the same way. If I'm talking to somebody, I like to see the person that I'm talking to. And y'all get that benefit? I don't because I can't see y'all. But I will continue to let you see me. And when I do... Feel like it's necessary for me to turn the the camera down then I will do so and I hope y'all are enjoying the videos uh, I do not mind the feedback if they're constructive um, I, I will take any kind of constructive feedback that you have um, but as far as the way that I produce and make my videos right now that's the way that I choose to do it and, and so I hope y'all continue to watch my videos. Uh, I, I know that without y'all that I wouldn't have this YouTube channel and I am very appreciative of each and every one of you. So with that being said, I am now going to lean the, the camera down so I can show you what we're going to be doing today. And I am using a different camera and I'm using a different angle. And this may not be good. In fact, I don't think it's going to be good. So I'm changing it. And I'm going to go back up here. And I'm going to do this angle right here. And I hope I do not mess up the camera. Because sometimes this thing turns off on me. And I can't see it when it does. Okay. I'm going to look in the camera to see, and yes, you can see. I was going to do coasters today, but the printout that I made was too big for the square coasters. And I will show you the square coasters I was going to make. They're up here. I was going to make these. And these were the printouts. And of course, as you can tell, and I should have measured the 
coasters, but I was upstairs when I did this, and my molds are downstairs, so. And so I found those, and even that's too big that way. So what I did, and you can see here, I cut the sides off the flowers. Now, I left that one on this one, and this one, you can see where I actually cut that off too. And both of them fit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick these down just like this. And once I put them down, they're down. And I am going to remove the back. But only once I know that they're down. Now this is a, a clear transfer sticker paper for inkjet printers. I do not have a laser printer. Uh, I would love one. But you work with what you've got. And... Um, I thought these were going to be the kind that you had to uh, clear coat them be, uh, first before you used them. And I got my clear coat out and I was going to go outside and spray them. And then I thought, well, let me check because it did not come with instructions. So I went online. And of course, I went to YouTube because that's what, if I have a question, I always go to YouTube because I can always find the answer there. And I did. And very carefully, I'm not touching the mold. I don't want to touch the back of this at all. Oh, and I went ahead and put the mica on the inside and this is a copper and this is a, actually a chameleon powder that's on this one okay and we're going to go ahead and I've got my resin I am using Nick Pro uh, this is not a sponsored ad, but they, they were nice enough to send me a gallon of resin. So when I do use it, I will let you know that it is Nick Pro that I am using. I am going to... Now, I'm going to pour this in a, a smaller cup, I think. Hold on just a minute. I want a cup that I can pour out of a little bit better. And I did use the mixer, uh, the Let's Resin mixer. And it looks like there's a little stream right there, but I don't know if that's, that might be the alcohol. Because I did put alcohol in there to get the bubbles out. But I will go ahead and do this. Because right now there's very little bubbles, and I want to sort of keep it that way if at all possible. And I am going to do it slowly. And I'm going to do it higher. So maybe I won't get as many bubbles. When you do it higher like this, it gives the bubbles more of a chance to pop before they ever even form.
and just pull on it. I am going to put some of the uh, confetti that I got from Timu in here. Not a whole lot of it, but a little. There's a bubble right there. I'm going through and I'm trying to Get the bubbles out. Oh, what is that? Is that a hair? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I don't see very many bubbles, but I'm going to use this. Just to try to pop the ones that are in there. I do have tweezers out here. I don't want a whole lot. Just want a few. Oh no. Okay. And some of these won't show because the they will be up underneath the uh, the color rim, which is fine. I'm just trying to. Uh, Get them in places where there's not any of the letters. Okay. 
since I had to cut most of the flowers out. Zion is in here. I'm halfway trying to watch him, making sure he doesn't get back up on the rafters. That scares me when he does that. Yeah, I just sprayed some. Yeah, there's a bubble. I was afraid of that, but. I got more over here. It's moving. I have not filled this up the whole way, and I am not going to. I am going to set this inside very carefully and hope that I don't. And I am adjusting the leaves again a little bit. And I know you can't see that part of it, but... I'm telling you about it. Oh, and I did, when I used the mixer, the Let's Resin mixer, today, I made a solution of alcohol and just put the, uh, the, the blade, the mixing blade, down in the alcohol after it was done. And I'll show it to you. It's right here. That's the alcohol that I used. I'm keeping it in close. It worked wonderfully. And if y'all don't know about the mixer, I've got a video uh, talking about it. Okay. This this resin's getting warm now, so we need to go ahead and get it used. Without me slopping it everywhere. see these air bubbles so I'm going to go ahead and yeah I sprayed some alcohol on there so the sticky stuff I don't want fingerprints okay and I may have made a mistake by doing this it may dull it now. And if it does, then we'll learn together that you don't do this. But there's a sticky back. And I didn't want my finger sticking to the sticky pack. So I put alcohol on it, but it looks like it's making it uh, cloudy. So we will see if it does. And I'm afraid it's going to. I think I just messed this one up. Okay, 
okay we're just going to do it this way i'm going to spray it with the alcohol in there i mean i'm going to pour it with the alcohol still standing hoping that maybe i don't get the spots this way but i'm afraid it's all going to be all spotty Guy. I'll try to get the, the bubbles out of the resin. I can tell you right now, this mold is going to deform. I'm going to have to sit there and, and put something right there to hold it or it's going to bow out. And this is a mold from Timu, and some of them, some of them do this. Okay. don't really need to see me doing this one too you saw me do the other one so I think I'm going to stop this and I'll be back okay I just wanted to show you I had some resin left and so I went ahead and put in oh let me get it and this came off of Timu, and I love this mica powder from Timu. It's that one right there. And then I took the Let's Resin Black pigment right there. Hope y'all can see this. And I just combined the two and sort of let it, it, it was getting hot, and it was very, very thick. And so... I swear I just let the two combine. I did take a little, I take this little stick right here and sort of swirls it a little bit. <clears throat> but I want it to be somewhat organic. So I didn't do it much and I've left it alone. And I still had some left. So I had this mold that I got from Timu, of course. Um, and I hadn't poured it yet. And so I did three keys and then the four locks. And I probably would have done more keys, but it was so thick at that point. I'm not even sure if these are going to turn out without a bunch of air bubbles. Because it was just super gumpy. Gunky? I, I, <laughs> is that a word? I don't know. But I'm going to put this in my um, Timu um, curing machine. And I am using the racks that Rose sent me that she made. And this will be the first time that I use this Timu curing machine. So I will let you all know um, how it works. And I will be back when they are all done. All right. Hey, guys, we're back. I've got these out. But as you can see, I've got a plate with sand because I put it on the in the curing machine and it sort of pulled up a little bit so i've got that holding it down trying to straighten it out i am mixing up some um white polyurethane while well, it turns white to pour on uh, in the back of this and of course you know the, the working at time on this is uh, very very slim
just going to put a drop of this yellow in here just to see what happens. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Just a little bit of a background. I'm afraid my table is not level. Hope y'all can see this. I want to make up some more, but I want that mold. It, it came out, it was warm, so I thought if I put this on there, This one didn't do it. This one did. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna wait till it it gets a little bit harder before I pour because I'm afraid if I pour it in there, it's just gonna do it some more. And this is not this is not curing y'all. There's something in this cup. Hmm. Oh, now well, there it goes. Just as soon as I, you know, I'm a very impatient person. Yeah. <laughs> Just as soon as I say it's not curing, here comes the white. Okay. I'm going to get these out because I made some other things too. I don't know if I can demold these right now. Uh, I had some resin left over. I think I already showed you those as I was putting them on the thing. And, and I'm going to try while we're waiting for that. This is still so bendy. I don't know if I should take it out or not. Because, oh, it is super, super. Is it sticky? No, it's not sticky. But it's super, super bendy. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I really like that. 
Okay, but I am going to stick it back on the, uh, the curing mat, just flat. It's on a silicone mat, so it will be fine. Here's the next one. Yeah, those are pretty oh they're still so bendy though i hope y'all can see those because they're they're quite pretty but they're very bendy so i'm going to put them back on the curing mat i don't think these are going to be ready to come out oh no i hope i didn't get a hair stuck in that Okay, these are so thin, and so that's why it takes, and Nick Pro does not cure. Now, I like Nick Pro resin, I do, but it does not cure nearly as fast as uh, some of the other ones. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to set that right there. I've never poured this mold before so we'll see okay this is cool now I do have a lot of air bubbles because it was so thick but I can put UV resin I hope y'all can see that I can put UV resin uh, over the top I'm going to fill that in with gold when it cures, it is not, uh, I'm going to set this back on the mat also to lay it flat. Because these are still, oh, I don't know, the ones with the handle I may not be able to get out. I don't want to ruin them. I got them out. And there are air holes because the, the resin, but I'm not worried about that because the, the UV will take care of those. So I'm going to lay that back on the curing mat over here too. Let's see. Can I pop this one out? Oh, I love these locks. And yes, there's bukus of air bubbles. It's not the resin. It's because it was so, so thick. I'm amazed I got the detail. But I love the locks. And I'm just setting them back over here. So I can cure them. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the keys out. Oh, these locks are cool. show you the finished thing when I get done with them all right it won't be on this video I have 
three other projects that I've got going right now uh, for videos for tomorrow and the next day. This is what happens when I start early in the morning, I guess. Uh, and I have been impatiently waiting uh, for this to, to cure so I could get the other ones uh, poured and the other videos made. I can only do one video on my phone at a time. And I know that is not good. And I'm trying to figure out how to fix that problem. Uh, but right now, that's what I'm working with. So, I don't think these are going to come out with that break. And, and I don't want to break these. I really don't want to break these if they come out at all. I will be amazed. But I'd like for y'all to see them. There is overpour in these. Oh, wow. Okay, there is overpour. As you can see but it gives you a general idea I can't see where my hands are I do not like this setup at all because I can't see what you're seeing I hope you can see that okay I am taking these over and laying them flat. I am not going to take this one out uh, because there's so many. I'm not taking that one out either. No, there's so many little tiny. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this cure totally. Uh, I don't think it's it's gonna come out. I think right there is missing some. But I'm going to just set this. I'm not going to put it back on the curing mat. I'm going to just set it up here and let it cure naturally. Uh, probably till tomorrow. And then I will take it out. And I will show you on the next video uh, what these look like totally finished. And, oh wow. See, I'm getting more... I'm getting more... Uh, color this is this is uh let's see if i can that's more yellow than i thought it would be oh okay that's not that ready to go this is still real soft too i'm not used to resin taking this long to cure on the in the curing machine but Ooh, I like the sides. I do like the sides. Okay, I have no idea. I don't know. Some of the color is coming up on the mold. Hmm. Okay. Flip. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like that. It is bendy though. You see how bendy it is? Oh wow, it is very, very bendy, y'all. I don't understand why that happened though. Maybe I should put resin. Is that on the mold permanently now? Can y'all see that? There's a leaf right there. The little leaves. Oh, that is cute. I hope y'all can see that. I think that's cute. No, it's bendy. It is. 
but I love the colors. Alrighty. Well, with that, I'm going to put this back over here too. And let this get firm. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's it's still doing it. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just mix up some uh, more. Since it doesn't take long. And I know I need... Oh. Do two ounces. I'm not going to put a tent. I'm just going to let it be white. Definitely is not level. Yeah, this is not, I don't know why. I don't know why that happened with this mold.
righty. take some out of this if I can get it. Ooh! Bad me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to push it back down. Lord have mercy. Uh, I forgot what kind of resin I was dealing with. <laughs> well, at least it's the one that's messed up anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see why that is waiting. If this is going to come off my mold. Oh, yeah. It came right off. wonder why it did, though. wonder why it came off the mold. I think next time I'll put a little bit of resin down first. Or I could just, actually. Uh, oh, that's crazy. Wow, yeah, that is wonky. Uh, this one didn't do it. That one did. So I'm going to say, it's got to be the mold, right? I'm going to have to put a little bit more resin in there, but... I'm determined to get one of those done for my sister-in-law. It was supposed to be a surprise. I was going to send it to her. Eva, by the way, if y'all don't know, is my sister-in-law. And I think she is a member of her Facebook group. Uh, and I hope she's not watching this so she doesn't know that I'm going to send her this as a surprise. Uh, I've been trying for days to get one done. And, well, as you know, I've been having problems. Look at that. Where'd the black come from? Oh, the keys and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I've had uh, a couple of people that are subscribers and in the Facebook group ask me to do uh, a couple of videos. Um, Marie asked me to do... <laughs> I told her I was going to shout her out, so... <laughs> Uh, she had asked me to do a video of, let me make sure it's still going, yeah, it's still going, of how to use your resin pieces that you don't throw away. And I will get my little thing over here uh, and show you. It's all over the place. That's just part of it. And it's all different colors down in there. And some of them super thin. Some of I mean, you know, this came out of one of the, the cups. Um, there's blue. There's purple. There's pink. There's white. I have another whole dish over here that's got all sorts of colors in it, too. Um... Black. I'm, I'm dropping it now. And what I'm going to do is take those and uh, chop them up. Let me get some clothes back on. I took those off because they were sticky.
but I'm going to chop all that resin up and I'm going to fill it in with a mold to show how you can use your leftover resin pieces not your good pieces, your scraps stuff that comes out of your cups and that's one reason why maybe you shouldn't take alcohol and wash out your cups because you're wasting a lot of resin that way um, but you know that's just preference I like to keep mine and uh, as you can see this is from earlier that's a black and then I have a whole bunch of gold and so okay. I've just got them up here drying and that's just all stuff that I can reuse uh, so I just let it dry naturally in the cup I have several cups so there's no reason for me not to and I can reuse it and put it in other stuff so we're waiting for this this is not going to come out I don't think because now I need to add more resin to that so this is just going to sit over here fingerprints but I, I'm going to go ahead and do this maybe maybe not boy it it really shouldn't come out this quickly oh yeah see it's still sticky but uh, it's already ru ruined and I know it is so uh, you know by some miracle if, if it's not then great but uh, yeah see this oh, but I really like the white oh I do like the white I like the white better than the uh, the other I'm going to stick it and see if I can't can y'all see that oh yeah that looks really 3D I like the white a whole lot better yeah that's a way to do it right there white behind there and you know I can sand that down so yeah isn't that odd the one that I thought was already ruined is the one that I like the best can I get this one off of here I mean there's not much difference okay but there is a touch there is a hint of yellow and maybe it's the gold frame that I like the best too with the white I don't know they're both cool and what I like is that that's my pattern I didn't buy it and so you know I know it's gonna be unique now if y'all want this I'll send it to you okay it's not like um, I don't mind you using and if this is a, a, a print that you would use I don't have any problem doing it I use Canva uh, and anytime you see like the, the stuff with Zion I took a picture of Zion and, and I added stuff to it and, and that's what most of my uh, Facebook group posts are done in is Canva um, I do have a witch graphic that I'll send you to if you're looking for a, a, just a plain solid black witch to use. Um, I don't mind sending that to you too. In fact, I could probably just put it up in the files in the group and anybody who wants to use it can use it. Um, so if that's something that you want me to start doing, uh, then, then let me know and uh, I will put them up there for you. Uh, because printing off your own designs are really cool. I still haven't got my silhouette machine out yet. And I really need to. Uh, someday I'll show you all the really, really tiny, I mean, I'm talking about tiny detail of tumblers that I used to do with uh, the silhouette. And it was crazy. 
because this is before resin really was that popular, okay? And people were saying, oh yeah, put resin over uh, the vinyl. And everybody's saying, oh no, you can't do that. You can't put resin over vinyl. Uh, it won't last. It will dissolve. It will, you know, that's so odd because now people are doing it all over the place and have been for years. And it's just so funny when you get our age. Well, some of you are not my age. Some of you, some of you are. Um, and and you see these younger YouTubers, and and they come out with something they think is their idea, and they get so excited, and you're sitting back just smiling, knowing that, yeah, well, <laughs> that idea's been around for a long, long time. But, of course, you're polite, and you don't say anything, and you let them think that it was their idea. And uh, that gives them motivation. You don't ever want to discourage somebody. And, well, I don't anyway. So, I just sit back, and I sort of smile. And uh, there's really not much of anything that has not been done before. And just because you don't know that it's not been done before doesn't mean that it hasn't. Um, I don't know if y'all remember this lady or not. But I used to, years and years ago, I used to watch the Carol Duvall show. And um, she was a crafter. But she had a lot of different crafters on her channel. Um, and, it, and it was a vast... Uh, category uh, of crafts it wasn't just one or two it, it was a mixture of all of them and um, I wish somewhere uh, there was a channel where people could watch some of her shows because I think then they would realize wow that was around back then um, you know, for some people, some people weren't even born in the, you know, 50s and 60s. And um, so, you know, my grandson thinks I'm ancient. <laughs> and uh, so, if you ever want to know a little bit more about the art world and the craft world, you can do some research. And, and find out that a lot of these things that people are showing here, I want to say within the last year, they've been around for a long, long time. And I'm sort of thankful that they're bringing them back out. One thing that does bother me just a little bit, though, is the original artist is not getting credit. And that sort of bothers me a little bit. But they're probably not even alive anymore. So I guess, you know, in the long run of things, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and I guess if they have children still alive and it bothers them, then, you know, they could say something. But I do hope that if anybody is doing work and you know it's their work, you're not giving somebody else credit for for it because that that's just sad. Uh, but you know, each each is to his own, I guess. And I'm not here to preach. I really am not. I'm I'm here to teach. Oh my! <laughs> that that was uh, that was unintentional, y'all. Uh, Honestly, it was, even though I'm sure most of you are out there saying, uh, you got it right, Beth. <laughs> I probably would be too, okay? And I'm just yapping. I, I'm cleaning and I'm yapping. And, and y'all probably don't even want to see this. And some of you may have already turned the video off. So, with that, I'm going to remind y'all, if you've not joined the Facebook group yet, we would love to have you over there. 
and uh, if you've tried to join and for some reason it didn't go through just come back because it's going to automatically decline you if you don't answer the three questions and the questions are simple it's like how did you hear about us which of course it would be youtube and that's the only place i advertise the facebook group so it would be youtube and um, the second question is what kind of craft if any do you do if you don't want to go into a long spill you know about all the crafts you do just put a bunch of them. You know, it's just we have to have something there for Facebook, okay? And so I tried to come up with the simplest questions I could think of. And the uh, third question is, have you read the group rules? <laughs> and of course that would be yes. Uh, hopefully you, you've uh, read the group rules. And then... You have to agree to the group rules. And I think there's three group rules. And uh, I originally started with one. I didn't want to have any group rules. Um, but then, uh, of course, Facebook has rules and you have to follow their rules. You know, you'll always have to follow rules in this world. Um, but the main rule was to be kind. Just to be kind. It was that simple. And that is the main rule of the group. We have days for self-promotion. Friday is our YouTube uh, promote day where you put your link for your YouTube channel. Thursday is throw to, Throwback Thursday when you share some of your older, or you know, the first things that you ever did in crafts. Um, we have... Um, oh, something on Monday. I forgot what it is. Um, and we're adding new stuff all the time. So, uh, the rules are simple. Just agree to them. Uh, the questions are simple. Just fill something in. And if you do that, it automatically approves you. And uh, we have open chat sometimes. Just spontaneously where everybody's chatting back and forth with each other and and we share other things besides crafts uh we share photos of our pets and um, we talk about our lives and you know that's what we do over there and so if that's something that you think that you would enjoy just jump on over there uh, the link is in the description and um, if you can't find it, you're going to go to Facebook and just do a search for Southern Lady Artistic Creators. And you will find us there. Okay. I hope you all have a great evening. This is Friday. But I've already got a project sitting here waiting for me to get done. Actually, two of them. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done and get that filmed and um, get that up for Saturday. I've got a Timu haul coming in today, and that will probably be added on to um, the one tomorrow. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit that thumbs up button. And I know, that's not a thumbs up. Nope. Nope. I don't want it thumbs down. The thumbs up button. Which way is it? That way? I think it's that way. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you uh, that do hit that thumbs up button. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, it's very much appreciated. So, with that, I'm going to say thank you again. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Cut off.